Today we're going to jump into weight loss, where to start, and the specifics of what you need to do to get the ball rolling. I'm going to share with you exactly what I did to start off this weight loss transformation in hopes to help you kickstart your own journey. Or if you're someone who's fallen off your weight loss journey or your health and wellness journey, these steps can help you reset. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Diella Joy and I lost over 110 pounds on my weight loss journey. I made this transformation throughout my journey using a combination of intermittent fasting, keto diet, high protein diet, and the whole lot. I started my weight loss journey in a state of a lot of chronic pain, a lot of injuries. It was a very stressful time and it's not easy to lose weight, period, let alone with stress, but I managed to make it happen by doing the following steps I talk about in this video. And it's so important. The key to that is focusing on one specific thing at a time. So let's jump into it. When it comes to weight loss, too many people make this mistake. They have this all or nothing mentality. They bite off way too much than they can chew and they set these unrealistic, unsustainable weight loss goals. You need to listen. It took you years to get you to where you're at. It's not gonna take a day or two or even a month to get you to where you need to go. So the first step is having that mindset and accepting that it will take time. It's better to do it this way than trying to get these lofty weight loss goals and then you try and do it and then you fail and then you're just stuck in a repetitive cycle year in and year out. Let me know if this is you or this has been you in your journey. Drop it in the comments below that you feel like it's impossible to lose weight, that you can't get it done, that it's a struggle. Rest assured, it can get done. Just hang in there and follow these steps to a T. So the way I began my journey is that I focused on one habit and that habit was exercise. And I didn't make a lofty goal of, I'm gonna like work out at the gym for three hours a day and I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that. No, it was just simple as this walking for 30 minutes three times a week. And I made sure to stick to that habit because when you start sticking to these small habits, they build up over time and it gives you confidence throughout your weight loss journey. Like think about walking. Let's say you go from someone who's completely sedentary, who doesn't exercise a lot, and they start walking three times a week for 30 minutes. They're going to feel great after each walk. They're going to feel accomplished after each walk. If their focus is on that walk and their focus is not on how far they have to go. Do not look at how much weight you have to lose. Instead, focus in the present moment on the actions right now. What makes people lose their ability to stick to a weight loss journey is that they start to catastrophize and they start to think way beyond where they need to be. They start to go into their fears. They start to go into their insecurities. Feed those fears and insecurities with incremental improvements. So that's what I did. I started off with walking. And as I started walking, I wanted to start eating good because I knew the food I was eating was not making me feel good. So I knew that walking made me feel good. So let's start incorporating another habit, which is adding vegetables to every meal. That's what I did, just simply adding vegetables. And there are vegetables that you can grow a taste to. Um, some people say they don't like the taste of vegetables. Well, the reason why you are in your journey right now is because you're eating foods that are not in conducive to you losing weight. So you're gonna have to learn how to become a new person. You're gonna have to learn how to retrain your palate. I like to eat these mixed vegetables to this very day. I love it. Frozen vegetables are the easiest thing to do. I would say just grab a pack of frozen vegetables and have it boiled. You don't need to worry about prepping or anything. So start off with frozen vegetables and have a serving per every meal. Now where people go wrong with the nutrition aspect, again, I'm telling you, it's the processed foods. It's not only causing obesity, but it's increasing rates of cancer within young people. It's increasing 
all sorts of medical modern day illnesses from type 2 diabetes to ADHD uh, to Alzheimer's and all of this. I strongly believe it is the toxic food and more and more people are realizing it. So you start off with these simple steps and then you build on it and you work on each step per week. So one week, you're going to focus on walking three times a week. Track that because when you track that, it's going to motivate you to keep going. And one thing I want you to not do is obsessively go on the scale. I want your focus to be on these habits because we are laying down the foundation. There's a reason why people rebound because when it comes to losing weight and keeping it off, People lose it because what happens is life happens, stress happens. Maybe there's a death in the family. Maybe there's stress at work. Maybe there's a new move. Maybe there's, you know, a, a new job and what have you. So it's going, you're going to be at a state of vulnerability for at least a year while you're making this change because it takes one thing to sidetrack you to a point where you're right back where you are. And that's what happens. So I want people to have that long-term mindset. So Goals you can focus on are something like this. And so instead of like focusing on the calorie thing, which is something I kind of like pushed, which is important, but let's just like get that out of the way because that's too stressful. Let's focus on the small goals first. How many times can you get to the gym today or this week? How many times can you incorporate eating vegetables in your meal? How many times can you have a palm full of protein per every meal? How many times can you reach your protein goals per week. How many times can you get in two liters to three liters of water per week? Like set yourself with, like meet yourself where you're at. Don't put yourself in a situation where you are basically going from zero to a hundred. So let's say you have not been drinking water and you're like, oh, I'm going to start drinking a gallon of water a day. No, start incrementally. Maybe start off with a quarter of a gallon and then maybe go to half a gallon for the next week and then incrementally get yourself up there. That's how we make progress. We snowball it over and over again. So I'm going to go into the specifics of how to basically implement this goal, but I'm going to add that to my VIP section or my premium section of my channel. If you guys don't know, I now have memberships on my channel. And from there, I'm going to go to, into how to meticulously implement these goals from step by step, how you can structure them. I'm going to share habit trackers and what have you. So make sure you check out my membership section. Not only that, I am going to be posting my first ever workout programs on there because I am officially, I think it's safe to say, officially certified as a personal trainer. So my first programs will be on there. It will be like, you know, about a month long program. Also on my membership channel, I'll be hosting challenges. I've decided to do that, like mini accountability challenges like this. How many vegetables are you going to get in per meal each week? How many times are you going to go on a walk this week? How many times are you going to get your workout in? I'll throw in fasting challenges in there as well and a whole lot of other perks. So make sure you check out my membership section. It literally costs $6.99 Canadian a month. So that's about $5 a month American. You guys in that American dollar. So make sure you check that out. I cannot wait to grow that membership section because I want a bit of a more intimate community where we can have fun on live streams. We can be ourselves because I notice as my channel is growing, I'm getting a bit more trolls. So I like my live streams to be clean. Then I can have only members, only live chats and whatnot. But rest assured, if you don't get my membership, you still get access to my live streams. I still will do live streams where everyone can join into the chat as well. But I am going to give my VIP premium members a little bit more. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful for you. Um, I really want to go into more details, but I really want to save that for my membership section of the video. So that's where you start. You meet yourself where you're at and you incrementally work your way. And that's how I did it. And then it snowballed. In my next video, I'll go into more specifics of exercises you can do that will benefit you for weight loss. Maybe we'll talk about protein goals and what have you. If you made it this far into the video, just drop in a bunch of meat emojis because protein is key when it comes to losing weight. And I am sending you mad love. Take care. Bye.